Welcome back to Tuesday Night Pro Scrims Curse. They start off very strong in map number one, Slums Hardpoint, and they're able to win that against Complexity. But the next map coming up, it's going to be Search and Destroy on Meltdown. Yeah, and uh, Search and Destroy on Meltdown is uh, one of Complexity's better Search and Destroy maps. And like we talked about prior, it's extremely important they win their searches. And uh, But you know, Curse is another very good search team. They, Twist is a great search player. So is Complex, and Miracles is, <laughs> Miracles ain't no slouch on Surge either. Yeah, these guys, they all know how to play Surge and Destroy, but it's going to be Meltdown where we see a couple of wacky strategies from time to time, you know, some right shields here and there, some middle stack pushes, you know, every now and then, but for the most part, it's going to be standard B pushes from both these teams. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to really be looking at the pacing of how they're going to be making these pushes. If we're going to see more delays, if we're going to see Charges different acquired. types of rushes, I think it's important that they start changing up what pace they're playing at. And the strategy I love the most on this map is when everybody puts on hardwired, they stack outside of the A bomb site, they wait for those EMPs to come through, and then they all flood after the EMPs go off. Yeah, that's a great strategy. And I also like a like a push right up the middle. I think that could definitely be a viable strategy. I mean not probably a first round, but if you were to take out later in the game if you've been playing slow kind of passive on offense, I think that's another viable strategy. Not only that, if you've been dominating one bomb site all offense long, then the defense they're gonna be forced to stack players near that area of the map. So a middle push in that instance would work like a charm, but First Blood has already been made as Clacer was able to pick off Miracles. Twiz gets taken out as well, so early two kills going down for Complexity as now it's going to be up to Complex and Blindfire. So Complex, he's just going to get the hell out of that B-bomb site because that's where both of his teammates died at. Blindfire yeah, might be in some action, line. finds one near the bottom of the bridge, takes out TB, so that's going to help them out a little bit. But time not on their side, only 25 seconds left to get this bomb down. Yeah, time's not on their side, but you know, dropped. it's the first round. They really just need to really feel out the game right now, and it looks like Complex is going to be in a tough situation right there, yeah. That's not a good spot to drop the bomb. Yeah, Complexity, they had both exits covered from the bottom of the bridge. You got Crim6 watching the side that Complex decide to attempt to exit from, and Crim, he's all over that one, so fairly easy first round from Complexity here, and we were talking about their Search and Destroy game coming into this matchup, so that's definitely a good start for them. Yeah, definitely a good start. I mean, you just, I mean, even right there, you saw just better use of your man advantage. That's really what it's about, is that if you can get that first pick, you can play a lot more defensive after that because, I mean, you're up a guy. So if you just trade effectively and just don't really make any dumb moves, you're good. Well, we got to go on board with Clay Stern. Why is that? He's got a sniper. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to see if Clay could work this first pick. Grenade comes in. Luckily for him, he's got Flak Jacket, but Blindfire, he's able to make first two blood. And make it first three blood. Blindfire kicking things off with a three-piece here. Now it's all up to Aix in a 1v4 situation for Complexity. But Aix, he's a master at search and destroying on Meltdown. Last time, it was actually against Curse they played this. He got a Lodestar on them. Yeah, you know, the, one of the things I want to point out there is that there was no trophy system on their B-Push. Maybe a mistake? It's probably a, probably a class mistake, but if you're going to push B, you definitely need a trophy there. You notice they stunned, yeah, they, they, they got two or three that. stuns right off the bat, and that completely kills the whole push. So, I mean, you either need Tac Mask or you need a trophy system sides. definitely over there. Uh, so maybe a mix-up in communication. That's Search and Maybe it's because they don't have you there coaching. It's, it's possible, it's possible. Come on, guys. Put on your Clear trophy systems. But now it's going to be Curse on offense. Let's see, any wacky classes? Nope. So far, it's standard, but it looks like they do like want to this. attack the A-bomb site. I was going to say, this would be a perfect round for Curse to push A. You know, It's 1-1. One, one. You just had a huge round. Right now, it would probably be the time to push, but again, we don't see a trophy. We see a light trophy system, extremely late. TP is able to trade his life there as Complex does team kill Twist. So all in all, effective trade for T. That's going to be Aix holding on, but who's coming around the flank for Complexity? That's going to be Crimson. able to find Miracles, but only one player left. That's going to be Blindfire. He's on a four kill spree, and Clayster shuts him round. down there. And round number three, up. Complexity are going to take the lead two to one. Yeah, that was just smart plays right there. You saw once they knew they were going A, they all flooded over and pretty much just worked that their That was a very advantage. quick rotation, yeah, too. extremely quick rotation. But you notice from Curse's side, too, they got their trophy systems extremely late. Where if they would have had them in there earlier on the stairs, they probably wouldn't have been stunned, and they probably wouldn't have caused that a team kill. Okay, so now it's going to be Complexity back on offense, and who's the guy you want to watch from Complexity? Uh, let's watch Krim. Let's, all right, Krim bot on your screen here. Looks like uh, trophy systems this time around, so they're definitely on top of their classes this time around as they are going to be making another B push, but it's going to be Blindfire once again. They're able to team shoot him there, so Blindfire goes down. Solid shots from Crimsix as he cleans up the kill on the complex, so it's going to be Miracles now. 
just took out Ix, and you got Twiz on the flank as well, so complexity, they could potentially work a two-on-one here on the Miracles. Yeah, right now, I think you're just going to have to, you're going to get the bomb down, and then you, I think you j need to stay extremely close together. Right now, Teep's going to watch the middle. It looks like Krim's going to rotate all the way back to their spawn, and I like this play. You know, usually whenever I see teams in this situation, they'll push two to one side of the map. So, for example, they'll push two to the defensive or offense side of the platform, just Hold position there, but now it's off the Crimp Six and a one on two. It's gonna find one over near the back pro pain tank. Just playing some merry go round right now. He's gotta be decisive here as he's able to clean up miracles, but Twiz is in hot pursuit. He's gonna find him here, but there might not be enough time left on the timer for Twiz and Crimp Six. He's pulling the same juke moves that Miracles did. Twiz will manage to pick up the kill, but not in time to go for the bomb defuse. Smart plays from Crimp Six as he clutches it around for complexity. Extremely smart plays from Crim. And you know it's kinda of funny. I thought Crim probably should have pushed miracles when he was behind that little uh I guess it's a fuel tank, mm -hmm. and then Refocus when he killed up. him, I think F Twiz needed to push him right away because he just he Miracles probably bought a ton of time here. Yeah, he did. Uh, he brought enough time to probably have Twiz defuse the bomb if yeah. they wanted to do that. And uh, uh, that's kind of confusing why they. That's they what I wouldn't. thought they were thought doing. But then I looked at my do. picture in picture. Switch Twiz was nowhere near the bomb. He was actually like near the generator head glitch. Yeah, I thought so he was gonna, gonna dance around so you can defuse because there was about 20 seconds left, and I think. When Miracles Destroy died, it was about 13, so he, ha he had enough time to defuse it. So probably just some miscommunication right there. All right, now it's going to be Curse. They're down by two rounds, moving into round number five. It looks like Blindfire with the bomb. He's going to head towards the A bomb side, but his teammates are definitely posturing over towards B. So Blindfire eventually is going to have to rotate over and join his squad as they try to take control of the B site. Yeah, and uh, on the defensive side, you saw a little change of pace. You saw Complexity push a little further up onto the generator and then get some shots in there, and that forced Curse to play a little more defensive than they probably would have liked to. Okay, so you got Clayster and Crim6 holding on to the B site and Teep and Aix. And, you know, fun fact about Teep and Aix, they've been teaming together since Modern Warfare 2. It's a long time. Yeah, that's, that's like a long time. Four, year, four or five years now? I believe they've been teaming together for four years, and I mean, you usually don't find teammates that stay together that long, especially. Uh, in, in the way gaming is today. So, I mean, that's just awesome. So, I think they're actually, yeah, they've done. been the longest standing duo now since off the game, they've made a couple roster changes. So, before that, I think uh, it was actually Merc and Big Timer. But since yeah, they broke so, up, it's yeah. now Teep and Aix. You know, right now, 20 seconds left for Curse that three guys go down. I mean, that's just unfortunate. Just they pushed that extremely, yeah, extremely late. Do you think Blindfire should have planted the bomb there? Probably not, because now I think you're just going to give uh, Aix, if he's going to be close, close er to streaks, not extremely close, mm. but he probably should have just Bob jumped the off the mat. You're in a no-win situation at that point, three-on-one at the bomb. The yeah, I mean, he was just stuck. I mean, maybe if he was at the A-bomb site where there were no members of Complexity, but all three of them were relatively close to the B-bomb site. Blindfire just had nowhere to go after this bomb was planted, so essentially he feeds around 200 total score yeah. to the Complexity squad. I mean... Aix does get 150 for final elimination, but those extra 50 points really don't count towards your score sheet. No, yeah, and uh, they, they've started their push extremely late with only 27 seconds left, and that's when you get a frantic just rush push. You don't really get really good positioning, and I would have liked to see them start that push a little earlier. Now it's going to be complexity. Round number six, it looks like they might pull out a middle push, or maybe they're just going to stack the eight bombsite. It's going to be Twiz here for the defense. He's able to find one, but now here comes the flood of complexity players. Glacier, he's going to be leading the charge here. It looks like Curse, they want to fight through the middle of the map, but Ace was able to shut down Miracles. Now they take control of the A bomb site. Glacier finds one more, so it's a two on one situation. Complex, last one live, but he's got some great position inside the A bomb site. Was coming up behind one player here. Looks like that's Crim6. He's behind, but both players are complexity rather close. Complex could pick up both kills here, but Glacier. Oh, Glacier is going to take some shots. You're going to see the immediate rotation from Crim6. Looks like he wants to head over to the B bomb site as they do know exactly where Complex is located. Yeah, and I, now they're going to get together. And something that you notice about that push is that they push that, I think, with three ARs, I believe. Crim had an AR, Ix had an AR, and Glacier is using an AR. So it's something we don't see a lot if you push A with ARs, but. It worked out pretty good because usually people play defense further back. So they were used. They were able to use their assault rifles to go for that long range pick. But now here comes Complex. Was able to take out Crimson, making it a one on one. He's gonna challenge Clayster here, and Complex is able to clutch around out for Curse. He's gonna destroy a trophy system as well. And now he's got a good start to some of his score streaks. Uh, that was just a huge play from Complex. I mean, that round was necessary if Curse is gonna come back line. and win this match to bring that from what was possibly a five one. Round. Back to a 4-2, that changes the whole map.
All right, let's take another look at it in the round any kill cam complex. Picked up the first one on the crim, challenges Clayster here, and he's able to make it work. It's the bomb defuse as well, so Curse, they stay alive for another round. Yeah, and if he can acquire streaks, I believe he's almost halfway. That would be huge for Curse, you know. Streaks are pretty dominant on Search and Destroy in this map, especially because you can get Lightning Strikes and I believe Hellstorms into A. Check this out. Complexity there up 42. Batip, he's yet to pick up a kill, but he has 500 points. Oh, how do you? He's, uh, got a, he's got a crap ton of assists. I guess assists and stuns <laughs> and everything. Sometimes, some games it's just unfortunate. You just can't, you just can't find those kills. I mean, you're so close. You're putting in shots and other people are finishing them. So I mean, it happens, especially on search and destroy. I mean, I believe the other night we saw Ricky start out with something like that, and you, you never see Ricky play like that on search. Sometimes, you know. Things just don't work out your way, but I want to watch this guy complex. He's so close to getting his streaks. Nice shots there. He's able to find aches on top of the boxes, and it looks like he's around one kill away from getting his health storm on. This could really turn the game around for Curse. Oh, yeah. If, they can, if he can pick up this health storm missile and win this round and turn this from what would have been a 5-1 a disadvantage to a 4-3, I mean, that changes the whole game, because then the harder. next round, you're gonna, Complexity's going to know he has streaks, and they're going to have to play differently. Well, let's take a look at the score. I mean, he's got 900 points, and when did he start his spree around? Two, two rounds two ago? Two rounds ago. So uh, I think maybe they have an idea that he's working towards some streaks. And here you go. You see both Complexity yeah, members are going to work inside the A bomb site. Blindfire is able to pick up the first one, make it two as well. So the B23R finds two kills for Blindfire, but... No score streaks acquired yet from Complex. Take another look at this kill in the round and kill cam. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're going to lose the round, don't lose it to Complex, because mm -hmm. then you're going to feed him streaks. So, I mean, it's a loss of a round. It's two rounds in a row, so Curse is gaining Switching some momentum, sides. and, I mean, Complex is really going to need to shut it down this round. All right, Search so Curse, they win round number seven, but Complex are on offense for Destroy round eight here. And I'm looking through these classes. I don't really see anything funky, but it looks like they want to attack over near the A bomb site. I'm still waiting on that middle push, Mr. X. Hey, you might see it right here. It looks like they're going to work middle or A. And yeah. Right now, yeah, they picked up one guy in the middle. You know, a lot of times that guy in the middle on defense doesn't expect to be pushed right away because we don't see it at all from any teams. And you know, right now, if you can go if you can go middle on any of the search and destroy maps and get a good mid control, you can go anywhere after that. And I think it really throws off the defense's rotations. A lot of map control in favor of complexity right now. The two remaining members from Curse, Complex and Twiz, they're rather confused about what to do right now. But Complex, he's able to pick up that kill. He's got a Hellstorm missile to work with. And now he's going to dip out of there. As you see TP on your mini map, he's going to rotate over to the B bomb site. But Complex... He could call in the Hellstorm right now and pick up both kills. Yeah, and if you're if you're complex, would you use this Hellstorm right no. now? No, I would save it. I think if you can, I mean, it's only you're only down one round. I think now I do. Can, now you use it, I guess. And now complex, you're like, well, we have to kill complex with that kill. He doesn't quite earn the lightning strike, no, but he knows but the close, remaining yeah. players over near middle finds. Finds him, puts in some shots. Ace actually took out his teammate Twist. He's gonna go for the All challenger the complex. Dead. If he picks the up the skill, he will be fully streaked out because he'll also get the defuse. Lightning Finds him there, gets the lightning strike, and he'll get the bomb defuse, which will give him the war machine. And now com complexity, they gotta be a little worried right now. Oh yeah, you know to give complex streaks. I believe he's gonna have full streaks after yep. this. A lightning and a bomb war defused. machine. So you know, I, I'm not too concerned about the Good war job. machine. Get ready for the next one. I don't. I don't think it's I, too... Well, on defense, I would just send them to the A-bomb site to use the war machine. Yeah, and just shoot it down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that actually kind of puts you in a little bit of a quandary because you can't go yeah. A because you want to shoot go the a war he's machine. Got the so I think a middle push is probably complexity's best bet. It's probably their best points. option right here. And, I mean, the best option is probably to so kind of figure out where complex plays on the map and kind of attack that. But now, okay, they can so use you know complex has answers. streaks. With streaks, they're we probably going to go to the B-bomb site. I actually want to see Kirsch... Curse push A here because complexity, they're going to be so worried about holding their generators because that's going to be the best place to take cover from the lightning while still defending relatively near the B bomb site. I don't think they would expect an A push coming out of Curse here. No, and you're seeing uh, Complex play a little more passive with a sniper rifle back near the base, and it looks like they're going to play more towards B, and I think that's a smart play from Curse because if they can get a little more positioning further up into the generators, he can use that lightning and either ping it or use it, and they can really just gain control of this whole map. Yeah, I think the decision making behind you know having a passive round here is because, well, whenever you know the other team has streaks, Generally, you're going to try to speed up the tempo here on Search and Destroy, but Curse, they knew that Complexity might try to be a bit more aggressive, so they decided to play a lot more slower. 
Now it's a three on two situation complex. He's got the war machine in his hands and he's watching flank. Time's we'll find up. TP here in, in just a second. So that's going to be an the easy kill for him. And it's all up to Aix while complex. He's on an eight kill spree. Yeah, he's just ripping it out right now. And it looks like Twist takes out Aix. So this, this is a huge Stop, comeback from Curse. I mean, I was talking about Aix's load star a couple of rounds ago. It looks yeah. like Complex, he's getting some revenge for that. Right, I believe he went on an 11 spree that night. So Complex is creeping up near that 10 11 streaks on Search and Destroy, which we hardly points. see at all. Well, I want to take another look at our scoreboard here, destroyed. entering round 10. Complex, he's on top, 10 and 4, two diffuses as well. T he's got 625 points, <laughs> two plants, still has yet to pick up a kill. So, you know, don't look at the score and say, like, wow, TP's really struggling. I mean, he's getting shots in the players, but it, he just can't finish them right now. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just get in an unfortunate situation in the search. Like, right there, I mean, if he, if Complex doesn't have that war machine, he probably doesn't pick up that kill. Mm -hmm. Teep kind of knew where he was, but you know, because he has the war machine, he gets kind of picked off and it just happens. So it looks like another aggressive middle push coming out of Complex. It's going to be Teepee who's already inside that opponent's base. We'll find him on top. There you go. Picks up kill on Complex, but doesn't have lightweight, so he dies from the fall damage. And you know, that's part of the it's a problem because Complex has a war machine, so you have to mm -hmm. run flak jackets. So, I mean, in, in a way, I guess the war machine kind of killed him there. It, it didn't, but it kind of having that class kind of killed him. I still think it's an effective trade from TP because now his teammates are left alive. They don't have to worry about a lightning strike. They no, don't have yeah. to worry about the war machine. So it's pretty much an even two on two it's here. Over. You got Twiz and Miracles left alive for Curse. The bomb, of course, is dropped inside the Curse base. And Complexity, they only have 20 seconds they to work with the here. Bomb. Do you think that Curse knows that they had bomb down? I think... Complex, well, usually who carries the bomb for complexity? Well, it's going to be TP. TP. So if so TP dies, usually you're going to assume that the bomb's down there as well. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm surprised they d we didn't see a fast rotation back to their own base by Curse. Oh, Twiz finds the bomb player, and that's going to be the around. game. But he's able to pick up the kill on the Crim6 as well. Take a look at this in the run, and he kill cam. But Curse, led by Complex, were able to make a great comeback. They were down 4-1. to one. It was looked like it was going to be 5-1, but they make the comeback, and they take Search and Destroy on Meltdown. Yeah, I mean, they were down 4-1, four, four to one, and like we said, Complex took that 2-on-1, on one, and that completely changed the they game. Uh, this they, 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 Complexity didn't win a round after that. It was five straight rounds, so, you know, that's the amazing plays from Curse. Complex 10-5, and five, Blind Fire 10-8. and eight. Amazing games coming out of them, and, you know, Complexity, they, they continue to struggle a little bit in Search and Destroy. Yeah, I mean, to go up 4-1 rounds and to lose, that's extremely unfortunate. I, I, you can't let somebody get streaks on Search, especially on Meltdown, because that's you're not going to win those games. So Complexity, they've lost the first two maps of tonight's Pro Scrim. We're going to head to a quick commercial break and see if they could rebound here and capture the flag on Raid. 